So this question relates to multivary chart. If you don't know the concept of multivary chart, you will not be able to answer this question. So it's a very simple and straightforward uh, question as such, but the options here are a bit tricky. What is the main benefit of a multivary chart? Option A, easy to plot than a control chart. Option B, helps to break down the components of variation. Option C, visualization of variation. And option D is time tracking of data. Now, which of these options are correct? In order for us to do that, we need to know what a multivary chart is. A quick refresher of a multivary chart. This is how a multivary chart looks like. On the y-axis, you would have the parameter which uh, you wish to improve or you wish to study. And you have on the other axis, there are three different axes here. On the other axis, you have three different variables. Now, what are the three different axes? There's one here. So there is one panel here and the other panel here. So these two here, the number one and two correspond to the first variable and the two different levels of that variable. So let's say high and low of that particular variable. So that's my first variable. And this becomes my second variable. In this variable, you have a one here and a two here, which means a low level here and a high level here. So this becomes my second variable. And my third variable is the one which has um, a empty circle and a circle with uh, crosses on it. So different legends. So this becomes one level and this becomes another level of the third variable. So in this one single chart, we are able to study the source of variation for a given parameter because of three different variables. Now we'll come back to the questions or the options here and evaluate which option is relevant. We'll take the first one easy to plot as compared to a control chart. Now the purpose of a control chart is to check the stability of the process to find out if the process variation is as per the accepted variation of the normal distribution. Now I don't think the multivary chart does that or has a a function related to any way close to that of a control chart. So option A straight away is not relevant at all. Option B talks about the fact that it breaks down the components of variation. And when you saw uh, in the display just few minutes ago, you would relate to option B that we were able to break down the components of variation for three different variables and find out where is the variation more at what level is the variation mode. So obviously option B seems like a good fit as an answer. Now let's not jump the gun, but let's evaluate the other two options. Option C talks about visualization of variation. Yes, of course, this is a good way to visualize the variation, but we are not plotting here a histogram or anything like that where we are able to find out the spread of the data. So we are only studying the source of variation and not the variation itself, which is there in the Y. If I had plotted a histogram, a box plot or something like that, then I would have inclined to click C as the answer. And the last option talks about time tracking of the data. There's no element of time here. Of course, one of these parameters, these variables could have been primed, but that's not mandatory. So all in all, B seems to be the right answer for this question.